Hey guys, this is Dave Maxey. In this quick tip, I'm going to show you a very simple way in order to use automatic double tracking on a stereo file. That's coming up on Home Music Studio One. Maxey here with Home Music Studio One. Uh, I want to show you something very simple uh, that I've touched on a little bit before in the past uh, using the idea of automatic double tracking. If you're not sure what automatic double tracking is, uh, visit, uh, head on over to vacuumsound.de and uh, check out this plugin. There's actually some great history on the idea of automatic double tracking. Uh, essentially, automatic double tracking is the idea of taking a mono track and creating a duplicate of it, and then delaying that model track, thus tricking the brain uh, into perceiving a wider signal that is in stereo as compared to a model signal that is uh, typically right up the center of a mix. And uh, this is a great little plugin here that I've actually mentioned uh, that I use to really fatten and widen out and blend in some of my lead vocals. So you can visit, uh, again, vacuumsound.de uh, forward slash plugins.html and uh, grab your version of this plugin. I want to show you, though, a very simple way to use this plugin. Uh, that's not a lead vocal and there's actually a stereo track versus a mono track. I'm working on a project right here. And within this project, I actually got a an electric guitar that has a really wide uh, stereo signal. It was recorded with a stereo delay that has kind of a ping pong delay, uh, so bouncing back and forth. And uh, what I'm attempting to do is make this even wider than what it sounds, believe it or not. And so uh, I've actually downloaded this plugin. I'm going to show you uh, on the default setting how simple this can be and what a difference it can make in your track. But Let's go ahead and listen to it exactly as it is. Uh, I'm going to mute the vocals in this project. Uh, let you hear a little bit of uh, this right here, uh, and then we'll zero in on exactly what this guitar sounds like. Okay. So let's take a closer listen to uh, this guitar right here. It's just an electric guitar. It was recorded through a pod uh, and actually recorded in stereo. All the effects were done in the pod itself. The only thing I'm using on this track channel is I am using uh, the SK Note. Uh, dot it the strip version of this plugin which is a console emulator uh does a little bit of saturation some other things on there uh, other than that all the effects on this electric were done directly from a pod xt live uh, let's listen just to this electric Okay, so this is a stereo file. It's a really wide guitar. It's actually more of a fill, uh, kind of just filling out some nice color and adding uh, some effect in there. What I really want to do is just make this nice and wider so that I can clear out the center of that and not run over my vocals and some of the other middle range things that are happening. Uh, I downloaded this uh, vacuum sound, the ADT automatic uh, double tracking uh, plugin from uh, Olaf Matthews. Very simple. I just simply slapped it on this track and uh, I've actually got it on the default setting and take a listen to how cool the difference is between this uh, plugin being used and not being used. I'll do a little AB for you. As simple as that, guys. Pretty easy, great little plugin, absolutely free VST. Uh, you can check that out, download it yourself. There's lots of other uses for it, but this is one way to use it with a stereo file. Can really help really clear out the middle. So let's take a listen to that track now within uh, the project and, and hear the difference that we have now going on. All 
right, guys. Hey, uh, you can implement this self uh, this this uh, technique in your own project. Just go ahead and grab the plugin, give it a shot, uh, experiment with it. Uh, I'd love to hear back from you and what kind of effects you're getting. Let me know what you think. If you've got any questions, uh, leave a comment at the bottom of this video, and I promise I read them all. And uh, until next time, this is Dave Maxey with HomeMusicStudio1.com.